Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we're continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. Yes, we've had much drama over the last few episodes, some big, big scary battles have been going on, haven't they? And we're kind of at a bit of an impasse right now. In terms of our expansion, you know, I've been looking at it, it's gonna be tough. It, it's de genuinely gonna be tough, because we're kind of sandwiched now, if we, if we look down here on the map. If you can see it. This sort of pincer movement by Dolgador and uh, Rune is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when I say kind of annoying, I mean really, really annoying. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit annoying trying to deal with Viltor up here. And also Elanin. Uh, but we're going to have plenty of troops to do so. We've nearly got the, uh, the Avari Armory as well. So I'm hoping next turn we can actually recruit some fantastic Elven Boyos. Who can help us in our northern conquests. Down in the south. At Enmarth. We are gathering the army. Uh, which uh, Captain Vidukind is coming down with some more troops. We're also getting a few more troops. If it doesn't lag. Uh, from Strondost. Could actually do with those vineyard bowmen to be honest. Uh, we are sending a few troops down to Mataram. So maybe we'll send those across as well. If we get them out of Lest. Yeah Lest still very happy. So we'll send those down to uh, Mataram as well. For some reason, Khan Nusair is here. <laughs> like, hello. What's he doing? What's he doing over there? The silly sausage. Uh, but anyway, let's get some of our mo more expensive troops, which will be the elves and probably the Thorn Guard, just because of the amount of troops they have in there. So we get free upkeep for those boys. So we get a bit of extra cash. Um, and then we'll go from Varfest when Harfast arrives. And we'll try and take Dorthalu. Potentially take this settlement as well. It's a bit laggy today. Logarth. And then look at Viltor as well. We are getting siege down at Carvrad, but that's not going to be a problem. And then the rest of this army, when they're all retrained and all that sort of thing, will be absolutely fine. Edwin is going back to Santanwi, but I think, you know, apart from these Avari spearmen, he can get retrained at Strondos. Why is Edward in with them as well? Like, why have I sent... Oh, Edward in was going to lead the conquests in the north, wasn't he? Um, I think that's a good idea. I love Edward in. Absolute boyo. Look at him. He looks pretty done with life. But he's a very loyal bo boyo, so... Uh, <laughs> he's great. But anyway, let's press the end turn. I don't think there's anything for us to do. But I hope you're all doing well, guys. I hope you're uh, enjoying this series. It, it's been pretty fun so far. And it, it is just weird that uh, Rune <laughs> decided to become a lot harder as soon as they had nowhere to go. I think, I honestly think, judging it, we must resolve our differences, um, or this is uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd take that if you give me, like, Dorthalu. <laughs> No. <laughs> I genuinely think what it is, is that AI, when it has all the land, it just doesn't know what to do with its troops and it spreads them out so much. So at the start, it's really easy. But then as soon as it's lost a lot of land, it's concentrated in terms of defending itself, fighting you off, what bordering regions you have compared to it. There's, you know, a lot less that it can go and assault. So... Yeah, I think it's just the AI at the start just doesn't really not know what to do with all the land that it has. Because it has a lot of land, yes. let's be honest, at the start. The Easterlings of Rune get a lot of land very quickly. Um, so, yeah, I think that's mainly it, honestly. They're going to siege down Carverad forever, aren't they? Um, Vidukind, let's send you down to Enmahath. Yeah, and Edwardin, let's keep you going, my boy. My bro, my broski. And we'll send you boys down here. We've got a lot of money this turn, which is great. And oh, we've, re uh, we're, we're, we've trained a lot. Uh, Santan Wee, we got the Thorn Riders. Yes, come on. Yes, boys. Now, now we've got the Avari uh, Barracks. What that has done is reset the timers for all these boys. Do we have any, do we have the next level? Or is that the highest level we can go? I think that is the highest level. If we go to the building browser. 
we haven't got the Sword Singers Academy, which, you know, is, is pretty good. But, yeah, that is the highest level. So now we have access to the Mori Quendi Protectors, who can form Spear Wall. And we have seen with the Thorn Guard how OP the Spear Wall is. And imagine the Spear Guard have three attack. These guys have eight. And they have 24 defense. These guys only have nine defense. So these guys are going to be nigh on unstoppable, honestly. And then we also have the Moriquendi Sentinels, which have a very high accuracy. Range of 210 meters, nine missile attack. We've seen them, you know, go in with Norway and 24 defense again and nine melee attack. And obviously that's reset all of these boys as well. So we are going to be very, very happy right now and recruit all of those boyos, as many as we can. And, uh, you know, we'll get the retraining done as well in time. But we want to get the, uh, the elves in there as, as soon as possible because it takes them three turns to train, which is, uh, you know, quite a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got the Mason's Hall down here now as well. So I think it's probably time for a trading post. Uh, and let's make sure what we're doing at Mataram is right. Oh, yeah, we are getting that. And then we're going to start getting the halls in there as well. So it can be a, a training post. How about Emmerhath? Oh, it's getting just a Mason's Hall. Ber Emerikis, can we build anything over here? Let's build a Mason's Hall as well, nice and cheap. Um, and yeah, Wintirian Ra Yara's not building, neither's Rubar or Elgaia. Anything good around here we can build, boys? Doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, we can build some standing stones at Wintirian Yar. That's quite good. Let's go for that. Just annoying that. Goddamn Rune has their ship still here, even though they have no no troops in these regions at all. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, no settlements. Oh, hello, Mordor. I mean, I'm very happy to defend this settlement against Mordor, because as usual, they'll have just absolute trash troops. So, should be quite an easy victory, really. I'm saying that now and watch it be impossible. <laughs> But yeah, this army is going to be OP when it's done. It's going to be so strong. And we'll probably even have enough troops for two uh, armies, honestly, once we've got everyone retrained and done. You guys get down to Mataram. Keep going, my friends. Keep going. Keep doing well. Fantastic. Boop, boop. Let's go. Uh, right, I think that's it. We'll wait for uh, we'll wait for Mordor to attack us, I guess. <laughs> See what happens. I mean, Dolgador can come and attack us anytime. And I don't, I don't think they're going to win, honestly. You know, unless they get all those javelins off with their orc hunters, which is very unlikely. I don't think they'll win. Uh, normally on a siege battle, they just tend to charge in their missile troops. Uh, the AI, which is very weird, but, you know, they, they like to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's just something they love to do. They love it. They love it. Absolutely. Yeah, there we are, Mordor. Come and join us. Welcome to the party. We will make a stand, don't you worry. And I think Varfest will be a pretty nice one to defend, honestly. The eastern settlements seem quite good. As long as it's not wooden walls, uh, you know, palisades, then it'll be a bit of a bastard. But even so, it should still be fine. Especially against Mordor. Unless they've got great beasts or something. Let's see what they have. <laughs> Imagine they have great beasts now. Uh, An Olokai. I mean, it doesn't look like it. I think we would see them because they're classed as a big unit. Also, that's a little bit weird. Oh, Naburka got a uh, dirt path now, which is great. Uh, not so good because he's <laughs> on an island. Uh, Karasant got the Thorn Barracks. So let's go. I think, in fact, we'll go for the Merchant's Wharf here. Start getting that cash up, even though, uh, you know, we're being a bit blockaded. Uh, oh, this guy should be fine to kill these guys. I didn't realize it was a full three ships. Let's go chase them down. Well, where are they? I do not see them. They didn't get destroyed. Uh, wait, we recruit, managed to recruit two long ships in a row. What boys? Santan, we got some more elven boyos, which is fantastic. We'll queue up these guys if we can. Uh, and they're going to have even more elven boyos in a second. I mean, the elves can go to war in uh, Mirkwood to relieve their brothers. That is that is the that is the question. <laughs> that is the sort of storyline we're going for there. 
You know, the elves want to go into Mirkwood to save uh, the, uh, the the woodland realm from the terrors of Mirkwood itself. Um, whereas the men, they want to go to Mordor and take revenge on the land that has ravaged them for so long. Um, I think we will hide in the trees. <laughs> Unless you can get any... You can get mercenaries, but just one. And that's strange that they've built equipment in one. Normally, I'm pretty sure normally the AI only builds it after the first, after the first turn of sieging it down. So that seems kind of strange. But I'm not complaining. It's... You know, it'll bring them, bring them in closer. And ideally, we want them to assault the uh, city quicker. So although the elves will be going north, they will be led by a man. Edward in the Great. As we shall call him from now on. <laughs> Great Edwardin. Glorious Edwardin. Glorious Edwardin. What a man. Uh, all these guys. Yep. Got so many troops moving around now. Where's the other one? That's it. I think that's everything. And look, Lok Khan over here. They do have quite a lot of troops there. So we need to beat back Athrug pretty quickly. <laughs> Uh, before marching on. Santan Wee is going to have an absolute beastly garrison very soon. Uh, hopefully Dolgador attacks us. Or at least Mordor. Come on, Mordor. You know you want to, bro. But maybe maybe they will wait one more turn. Um, I'm not sure about, you know, leaving the city of Carverad because I think, you know, we'll be at a big disadvantage there. Surely. Come on, Mordor. It's been slow. Ah, it was Dolgador that came out. So what do they actually have? Oh, they've got Wag Marauders and a gold a gold Chevron one. Some Orc Maulers are pretty good as well. They are armor-piercing, which is not great for our High Paladins. Uh, but our High Paladins are high attack. And these guys don't have much defense. Obviously, the, the Wargs are going to be a bit annoying. But all they have is a Ram and a Ladder. So I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry. So, let's see. We'll get on the battle map and fight it. So, I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. And are they manning the ladders? It seems not. So, yeah. Good place for these guys up here. And uh, we'll get the High Paladins defending the old uh, gate. Maybe the, maybe the ram will be destroyed. Ideally, we'd want to fire at the wargs, but we're not going to be anywhere near high enough. But firing at the Orc Maulers is still good. They're still quite a high damage unit. So let's get that on time six. When can we get... Come on, as soon as we can get them in range. Oh, they're being a little bit crafty now, aren't they? They're not quite in range. I mean, we've destroyed this unit, though. The enemy are battering down our gates. We're actually firing into ourselves <laughs> with how inaccurate these boys over here are. Who just got burnt? We... How can you miss that badly? Bro! Bro, come on. As soon as they're in range, we're going to pepper them. Which will be as soon as the gate is destroyed. <laughs> so, we need to slow it down slightly. Luckily, you know, their infantry is not going to be a problem at all. Whether we can kill all those Wog Marauders, we should be able to with the High Paladins. Here they come. There we are. Fire at them. Should be a nice straight line of, uh, line of attack as well. Yeah, we've got more High Paladins than Orc Marauders they have, so we're not going to have a problem here at all. Hopefully the Warg Marauders get a bit stuck on the gate. And we can, you know, have a few volleys because it's, you know, only having one or two volleys isn't great. They only have 11 defense, these guys, so it's not, you know, not the strongest defense. But there they are, stuck a little bit. Taking out a few of them, not a huge amount. The Paladins haven't even lost a man yet. So I don't think this is going to be too much of a worry. Let's speed it up. The walls are no longer Fire at them. The enemy general lied dead. Thought that was our general then. <laughs> Come on, guys. You should be able to fire directly into the back of them. Oh, look at that. We have just shredded them. We've only lost, we only lost about 20 men. Wow. About 12 men, apparently, with the healing. <laughs> Uh, well done, Bowman. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much. And uh, well done, Dolgador. So I'll see you back on the campaign map.
Here we are, and of course, we're going to execute those Morgul rats. Well, they're not even Morgul rats, they're Mirkwood rats, but... <laughs> works nonetheless, it works nonetheless. <laughs> so the Elven army will go north. I think Mordor will attack next turn, which will be great. Stop our attrition within... Within, uh... I think it... Is it Varfest? I, I can't remember. I think it's Varfest. I, I keep getting mixed up between these. Yeah, Varfest... So, that's fine. We are doing a lot of building. 10,000 that turn we got then. Oh, fantastic. So, let's pop in the Avari Barracks. That'll be great. Bert Emericus got the Mason's Hall. Could start getting up the barracks here. But we only we don't even have a great hall yet. But it's it's a bit too far away. Ideally, we want, you know, sort of Enmahath and Mataram to be good recruitment hubs. So, that's what we'll do. We'll stick in those great halls both there. Uh, Winterian Yar got that. So let's get some roads. That'll really help with trade up in that region. Uh, and yeah, Karasant should be making a bit more money now. So let's get you guys in port. Um, I don't think we need you just yet for any movement of troops. We could have used you for Edwarding, couldn't we? Will this even be quicker, though? Get him off. And yeah, a, a marginally quicker. <laughs> Not a huge amount, but marginally. And then over here, you know, we're recruiting some absolute beastly boys. Um, to get into the armies, the elven armies of the north. Coming down upon the fools of Dol Gador. Uh, and then you, where could you go? Uh, you could actually go to Mornithel. That'd be great. We could get those crossbowmen out of there finally. So go to Mornithel, my friend. Still getting siege down by Mordor. Mordor. Uh, and then you boys. Let's go. Into Mataram. You're just going to be garrison boyos, as usual. Just stinky garrison boyos for the rest of your life, unfortunately. Uh, but at least you don't get killed in battle, eh? That's one good thing. You get to enjoy life rather than marching your whole life. And getting killed in a battle. So, I guess it's not too bad being a stinky garrison boyo. Uh, <laughs> and we're in the, you know, we're in Dorwinian, so plenty of wine to go around as well, which is fantastic. And elves, elves to you know chat to and have a bit of fun with. Although I've got to say, elves are pretty boring, aren't they? They are boring people. <laughs> Humans and dwarves are so much more interesting than elves. Elves are just like, oh, yeah, we're so good. You know, we live forever. We're all powerful. And that means, therefore, nothing is interesting to us. So we're really boring. But <laughs> sorry, all you elf stands. But elves are boring, guys. <laughs> elves are very boring. Right. On to the battle map. Let's go. Let's uh, defeat Mordor before I offend everyone who likes elves ever i'm not backing down from my elven statements boys i'm sorry i'm sorry they're gonna remain there forever uh <laughs> at least elves in uh in lord of the rings i would say are not that interesting in in the original trilogy not you know in uh, uh the silmarillion a bit more interesting they had a bit more bite to them but yeah no uh elves in uh <laughs> In the original trilogy, are pretty boring and pretty done. Like they they don't care about Middle Earth anymore, really. At that point, do they? So, apart from Haldir, Haldir is one of the ones that's not boring. Why do we only have? Genuinely, do we only have two gates? Well, that's trash, isn't it? <laughs> we can't do our usual tactic. Um. Well, we can, but I'm probably going to do it with these Rovanian riders. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll probably do it with those two units of Romanian riders. And then, where is the town square? It's here. Oh, damn it, bro. Um, and then these boys can come up here. Uh, let's get all our archers together. It's only two units of archers in this army. Woo! God damn it. Well, you can go there, um, no way. And you boys can go maybe like here. And what we'll do, we'll have our privateer axemen on here as well. 
And uh, let's, so, yeah, and we'll probably have maybe one more boy. No, we don't need another boyo up there, do we? So we'll group you. Could do with, yeah, you guys will stay here to, to deal with them if they do manage to make it up. But I, I very much doubt they will. And then, yeah, we'll get our thorn guard in spear wall. And, you know, pretty much we found nothing can, <laughs> nothing at all can break through these boys when they're in spear wall. Like, they don't care, like, that they've only got three attack. They don't care that they're, you know, they seem trash in their stats. They are, in fact, incredibly glorious. Oh, my God. <sighs> Sometimes the pathing, bro, just, just makes you, like, roll your eyes in hatred. <laughs> <laughs> for these old games, bro. Oh, god damn it. There we are. Okay. And then the sword masters and stuff. Like, there's only six of you. Just go there. There's only 23 of you. Just go there. I think that's everyone. So, you guys go there. You guys go there. If you can, that would be... I no, no, not you. Shit. You boys, go there. And you boys now... Getting here. Ah, God damn. Would you like path, please? <laughs> that would be ideal if you would be able to path. I'm not going to lie. These guys firing. Fire probably in the Orc Maulers, I'd say, would be one of the stronger units over here. So all they need to do is just touch those guys to stop them. And they've done that. Good. So get over there. You boys, get over there. I don't think it's going to be a problem. That actually stop them coming up the ladders as well. Uh, fire at the Black Orc Halberds. They're actually a good unit. Well, good-ish. Good for Orc units, okay? Unless you're talking about Gundabad. I, I can't. I want their ram to get to the walls. I just don't want this these siege towers to do it. Look at them going. Come on, boys. <laughs> I've got to say, I haven't played this for a little bit, so my uh, controls are... <laughs> I'm being a little bit trash right now with my controls, but it's fine. Oh, those Black Orc Halberds just stand no chance. Um, I think the Orc Maulers will be the best option next if we want to, you know, keep on firing. Here they come. They're going to fight Privateer Axemen, so I, I don't think the Moran and Guard's going to beat Privateer Axemen, boys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you guys, let's get just just fire at something in front of you would be better, rather than firing over in a big arc, which is trash. Oh, fire at the uh, Mongol Chosen! Actually, no wait, no the the back of the Black Orc Halberd should be a good good option for you. Changing my mind a lot, like the wind, like Elrond. <laughs> <laughs> the this is the Elf Shade episode, guys. I actually do like Elrond. I think Elrond's a great, great character. Um, but yeah. Just the rest of the elves. <laughs> like, Legolas. Is Legolas even a character? Like, I'm sorry Orlando Bloom stands, but like, is Legolas a character? I, I, I'm not sure, you know. Because he's pretty much got the charisma of like a cardboard cutout of himself. So, you know, I, I don't know whether he's an actual character or not. <laughs> Just keep digging, digging, digging. The enemy have the walls. Let's go. To our defense, or all will be lost. Well, it's our game. It's How are you lagging? This game is about 5,000 years old, bro. You should not be lagging. Fuck off. Stop lagging. They should not be... It should not be lagging. Come on. Uh, and you just, like, fire down into this mess. If you guys could fire there as well, that'd be great. I don't know whether you can. How is it lagging, bro? It's kind of shocking. Problem with these guys is their accuracy is so bad that we're going to be doing a load of friendly fire with this. We'll wait till those guys get in there. And then we can do a little bit of a charge in the back. Oh, that is just brutal firing down on them. Brutal! Let's go. Time six. Oh, yeah, look at that lag. Just don't think it likes all those troops in one place. Like, pretty much... 
You know, you've got like more than 2,000, probably 1,500 troops in there now. Just in that little area. The Moran and Guard are, are shredded. Might try and get the these guys down the uh, other side, if possible. God, they're trying to break through, and they're actually doing it. The Thorn Guard's struggling right now. They're really... I hate it when they do that push, you know. The AI does it all the time. They do this, like, horrible push where they push through your units. And it actually is quite effective, as you can see. Get you guys there. And, in fact, we'll get you guys here. And you can charge them if needs be. Are you not firing? You should be able... should be firing in there, bro. Should fire. We'll go Light of Elbereth as well. Like, you're pretty much just there. You should be able to look down there and fire. Come on. Don't be silly. These guys are firing. Defeat seems almost certain. Um, what are you? Just an orc host. Standard, standard old orc host, huh? I mean, chase us around all you want. It won't make a difference, bro. How many have we killed? I mean, we've killed 50%. They've killed 40-ish. No, 30-ish. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I mean, we're going to use these guys. Just... Oh, that's not a charge, is it? That's just not a charge. These guys will have a little bit of a charge, though. They're still steady. That's fine. Now you guys can charge him. Have you killed that Moran and Guard yet? Well, come down here if you can. If you would, down the ladder, please. Yes, get on the ladder. That's it, boys. There we go. And uh, we'll uh, flank the bastards. I feel like a good cavalry charge would just break all these guys now. Who's steady? Oh, the Auric Bodyguard. I mean, he's dead, though. Oh, that... Those those arrows are just so deadly, aren't they? The piles of... It's not, it's not lagging as much now. It might just be because I've not played it for a while. Just getting back up to speed, huh? Look how much they're getting shredded by those arrows. Ooh. Come out. Now you guys charge him. We've actually destroyed a lot of that unit with, with no cavalry whatsoever. Um, hello, cavalry. Can you, like, get there, please? Like I told you before. <laughs> right, come and surround them. And then if they actually do all start routing, there's nowhere for them to go. Wait, times two is actually smoother than times one. What the hell? <laughs> oh, we are just shredding these boys. We're going to have to be wary with our lack of infantry again. Like, again, we've got so little infantry in this army. We might have to get a couple of, uh, a couple of, uh, couple of boyos. Let's go fight those black Oryx if we can. Oh, they're all routing now. Oh, get out. Keep forgetting about you poor boys. How many have we killed now? 92, so they will die as well because their general's dead. As soon as they, uh, as soon as they run, they'll die. Well, I think uh, some of Norway's troops are firing into them as well, which is great. Half, our force remains. half the force, no! One big charge. That should see him gone. Who escaped, by the way? Who actually escaped? Some filthy, some filthy Moran and Guard. Or is that just an Orc host? No, Moran and Guard. Oh, yeah, because they, they escaped off the wall. Fair play, boys. Woo! Killed a lot, didn't we? We killed a lot. The Sentinels doing 347. The Bladesmen, 365. In fact, the Thorn Guard this time were actually a bit disappointing. Normally, they're class. But anyway... I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Execute them all. Fantastic. Ah, uh, poor Mordor. We are struggling a little bit in Varfest, though, aren't we? You know. Uh, will it be enough to take out the rest of Rune? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll need some good mercenaries, I think.
if possible. Hopefully the mercenary pool's recovered. Do you have mercenaries, my friend? I mean, you got them. How about across the border? Nothing across the border. So you get in there. I'm just going to ignore these uh, Rune and Mordor armies because there's no point fighting them. So let's come up here. Get a watchtower in place. Let's go after Dorflu. That could be slightly scary, that army. But with the amount of cav we have, I honestly don't think it'll, it'll be a problem. We've got a new family member came called Grim. Big Grim. What a man. <laughs> Let's go for the uh, trading post. Uh, and, oh, we have recruited some boys now. Some serious boys. Yes, and Edwardin is nearly home. He's nearly home. Right, let's get our... Uh, this is going to be a pretty much full elven stack. I mean, it's a bit of a shame to fight Dolgador, but then thinking about it, you know, is fighting Mordor any better or worse? Fighting Mordor is just trash stacks after trash stacks. So, I honestly don't think it will make a difference um, to what we're doing. So, can we retrain you? No. But can we recruit anyone else? I mean, cavalry-wise, we've only got Thorn Rider. We've got Navari Naharim. And we've got Edward in. Um, potentially a privateer cavalry. No, it's all right. We'll uh, get... Let's get a Thorn... A Thorn Rider anyway, then, as well. And then we'll build for the rest of the, uh, the money. I think... You know, mines would be a good option. It doesn't increase that much. But it'll pay for itself within about 10 to 15 turns, which is not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's get a land clearance in Mornethel. Get a bit of extra cash. In Austin Eri, we could go for a Mason's Hall, and that's about all the cash we have right now. Um, Enmahath, let's get you in there. This is not the strongest army ever. But with the troops from Mataram, it is pretty much a full stack. So, who are we leaving behind? That's the main thing. Because last time, they were not very happy, were they? Um, how long would it take you to get there? Quite a while. <sighs> That's a bit of a mistake, isn't it? Well, ideally, we want the archers. We'll get you guys there. We'll come down this way. You can actually go in there. Can't recruit anything more. Yeah, I think we're, we're pretty good, honestly. What do we have as a, a mercenaries? No mercenaries available. Leaving behind then, it's got to be the crossbowmen, hasn't it? The crossbowmen are trash. Even less useful than the 19 cavalry we have <laughs> in that one unit. Uh, but this army, this army is going to be something special, guys, isn't it? This is going to be something special. I'm tempted to even trade out those crossbows for something else as well. Uh, you know, we're bringing up we're bringing up some more of our spearmen as well. How long is the sort of the time on these? Only twelve more turns until we recruit more, and nine for those boys. That's actually fantastic. Oh, you know what? It's our main recruitment hub, so why don't we go for the Sword Singer Academy? Yep, let's go for that. It's going to take a while, but it's fine. It's fine. Right, we're on the march again. On the road again. <laughs> Get moving, bro. You slug. Go. Yes, very good. Let's go. Mornothel over there. And yeah, we just need to... We just really need to get rid of... God damn rune. And this western, uh, this western edge is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? It's because it's so wide. You know, we we could do with another army, really, on that western edge. Because we'll be fighting Mordor and Dolgador all in one across a very, very wide, wide front. If we can, you know, take Rawberg and then we're bordering uh, Dale and force them into the woods, that'll be a lot more helpful. As well as the, uh, you know... 
Angmar's lead is dead. Wow, the Witch King of Angmar has died. Really? It's quite good. I think in terms of Toggle Fog of Wars, guys, I think we'll do one next turn. Uh, oh, they, they didn't... Oh, I completely forgot about Mataram being a bit of a problem. <sighs> well, we send one of you. 50%, but with this, that's 55. Oh, that doesn't... Ah, well, that goes our garrison plan then, I guess. Still 50%, bro. Come on. It can't be 50%. How was it 70% before? What's actually happened? Has, have they got a... Uh, religious unrest. It shouldn't be too bad. And so it's getting another 15%. So that'll be 65. It's not ideal, really, is it? Ooh. Well, maybe we'll have to keep you in there then. Still 50%. Are you kidding me? Right. We shall uh, sally forth then, I guess. And we'll leave behind the crossbowmen. How's Emma half looking? <laughs> Because we can't have the same thing twice. We'll come down to here. We'll leave these guys in there for now. And uh, we got a trading post in Lest. Very nice. You know, getting the roads everywhere would be something that would be very useful. But we kind of want to get the, uh, the Mason's Guild's houses before we get that. Retraining boys. Retraining boys. And Edward in. Let's get you up north. In terms of this army, we need you. Is that a full stack yet? Three more units. So you, you and you. And uh, we'll sort that army out in a second. Can we retrain any of these boys? We can. So then we'll have, you know, these guys left over. Oh, hello, Dolgador. It's nice to see you, bro. You've got some Oryx Slayers in here as well. Nice. Some actual decent troops, but... <laughs> Nothing compared to the Elven Boyos over here, I'm not going to lie. They can go and siege down Carbrad if they want. I just don't think it's going to do much difference. They're, uh, you know, romantically looking at each other right now. <laughs> wondering what's going on. To their nations. <laughs> I just really don't want to see a goddamn um, Inquisitor army down here. That would be a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. Whenever our next batch of elves gets done as well, we will send them south. And I'm very much expecting that we'll take Dars Gurum and then just be swamped by armies. So we can probably just try and defend that for as long as possible. And it's a large encampment, but that doesn't mean much in terms of defenses when you're talking about orc settlements. Like, orc settlements are so bad for defending. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So let's uh, end the turn, see where this Dolgador army goes. Mornethel for the boys. It's actually making quite a bit of cash now, Mornethel, which is great. Elves being put to good use, eh? Elves being put to good use. <laughs> the digs are going to continue, guys. They're going to continue, I tell you. Um, no, I, I feel bad about saying so much shit about elves now. Elves are all right. <laughs> ah, well. Um, but yeah, dwarves are the best. Dwarves are the actual boyos of Lord of the Rings. The real boyos, even though... <laughs> Even though in uh, you know the actual original series we see three three dwarves <laughs> at the Council of Elrond and then like no other <laughs> just Gimli, but Gimli's a great dwarf. Fifty, it's only fifty-five percent. Are you kidding me? Really bad religious unrest. That's forty-five percent unrest. So I'm assuming. They've got a spy or two in there as well. 
Uh, Austin Airy got a Mason's Hall. Let's go for that then. Um. Yes, mother. Yeah, well, I think you know we can assault Dorthalu. We've got South Run defenders, which are actually a pretty decent unit. You know, a good mid-tier unit, especially early game. I know it's not early game anymore, uh, but we'll do that in a bit. So let's uh, do the rest of our movements first. Where did that big Dolgador army go? I don't know. But let's organize this army then. So, oh, there it went. <laughs> well, it'll be gone as soon as we uh, siege Illidan in any way. It'll be running away. So let's get all our archers all together and our crossbowmen. We've got quite a few, actually. Then we'll go for the spear wall boyos. Only three of them, really. Cool. Then we'll go for the... Uh, these sort of... These sword and shield and... Ah, I can't even speak. Uh, spear and shield boyos next. Apart from the vineyard levies because they're trash. Then we'll go for the thorn bladesmen. Then we'll go for the two sword masters. And then we'll go for you guys. Then the trash spearmen. And then uh, Avari, Naharim, and the other cavalry. We shall engage. We shall I think that's... Yeah, they've got no one in there, which is great. The only problem with this setup is that I've actually set up the Moriquendi Sentinels first. So if I do an auto-resolve, they're going to be the ones dying first, which is yeah, a bit of a problem. Uh, but it's not too bad. Right, we've also got this down here. What do you have... Just probably just trash, really. They're not, they don't even have generals, just captains, bro. I mean, if you siege down that, that'll actually be good for us because it'll stop them, you know, <laughs> rebelling. Uh, right, I think it's time to do a bit of building. For them. Mm, do we need the meeting hall? I mean, we've just got a vineyard levy there, but that's fine. Uh, Elgair, let's go for communal farming. Bert Emerikis. Let's go for some farming as well. Some just extra money with everything we're doing. Communal farming from Mistrand. No, I think Trader Exchange more like. And there's only two built two places we're not building right now. So let's go for something cheap so we can build in both. I'm thinking at Rhubar we go for the chicken farming. And then Varfest will have enough just for that leather tanner. Right, well I think this is Probably has just wooden walls, isn't it? This should probably not be a problem at all. Especially with Norway. He gets better better, better command when we do that. But I'll see you on the, the battle map, guys. Here we are, and... It's quite a cool-looking town, this, isn't it? Thinking going one there, and the other one over here, just so they get... Shot slightly less. And then in terms of who we're going to send through, of course, we're going to send you boys and the Rovanian Spearmen. And then the rest of you. Like, we just got so little infantry in this army, don't we? <laughs> can chuck it back there. Can we fire? Yes, we can into the South Run defenders. They've got four units, remember, we've got to get through. Oh, really? I was going to say, what was, what was happening with that then? Uh, you should be able to go there. You guys, just come back here. I, I don't know why you're there. South Run Defenders already not really liking it too much. <laughs> yeah, we already killed a few of them. 15 or so. It's just so hard to hit them when they're in... Loose formation over the walls as well. Right, let's speed it up. Ah, it's got a lot smoother. It must have just been it's the first time it's, you know, played the game for a while in the last battle. Oh, hello. Low Grim Bodyguard. Fire at them, please. No way. Fire at them, no way. Come on. Once more into the breach, dear friend. Oh, look at that. Really good firing. They've both managed to do it. 
So, let's send you boys over this way. Uh, the Rovanian Spearmen this side. I don't really want to use much of my infantry. I prefer to just use my archers if I could. So I'm thinking trying to get Norway in here to fire into the enemy. If you guys go and like, you know, trying to hold those Locrin bodyguard. That'll be great. And uh, like I say, Norway. If Norway gets here and fires into them, I'm not bothered about friendly fire for, you know, this unit. These two units of mercenaries in the back. Don't think it'll be a problem. So, and also, yeah, these guys as well. Yeah, they're pretty damaged, so I don't think it'll be a problem, you know, a bit of friendly fire. Still got the South Run defenders, though, in the middle, who are a decent unit. And you guys are not firing anymore, so let's get rid of you. Uh, Cavalry-wise, could we get over there? If you want to get in there. Normally the pathing's a bit weird, but yeah, get in there if you can. Come on, Axeman. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, no way fire into there. Uh, actually, no, <laughs> keep coming, boys. I forgot, <sighs> didn't realize that was, some of you were still out of outside of the city. Uh, they've still got the Daratai clansmen. Who are not great, so I'm not too worried about them. Uh, but hopefully... Is he just firing over? Don't think they're firing too much, I'm not going to lie. If we go... There's not really a good line of sight that side, is there? There is over here, but... No way's in the wrong side. If we run around, no way. Let's go. Get down over here. And, you know, if they want to come and charge us. Oh, no. Wrong way. Um, that's genuinely, genuinely not a problem because <laughs> if you want to do that, that's fine. We've slain the general. Good. That's pretty good. Privateer Axeman got some power, boys. Uh, in fact, no. Fire at the South Front defenders. Stop firing over. Just fire straight. Just fire straight, boys. Kill them. If you can, you know, attack them, that'd be great. What are those South Run defenders doing? They're coming down this way. Um, But are they, though? They, they keep not making up their minds. <laughs> can you see those clansmen? Probably not. Uh, no way. Fire at them. I mean, in fact, just, just come up here and... Just come up here, no way. Come on, boys. Plenty to go out here. Plenty of munch munch. Plenty of meat. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's go. Um, have they attacked my cavalry yet? They kind of did, but not really. Nice one, Norway. Doing very well. They should like, go soon, basically, shouldn't they? That's not the charge of the sentry, but not too bad either from a standing start. <laughs> right. I I'm just relying on Norway to do the rest of the damage. Come on, Norway. Let's go. What are they doing? If you can make them rout, that'd be great. And then we'd destroy them. Get out. They are, they are spearmen after all. Come on, boys. Let's go. Right, now you can charge them in the back. Bang! Let's go. Big charge. Big charge for the boys. Let's go. Now they've turned around. Not not so big. <laughs> Push them off the town square and when they when they go, we'll be good. Come on, boys. There we are. Fantastic. We lost a few men. Again, infantry, so that's the main problem. The Sentinel's doing really well. Privateer Axman, 196. Fair play, bro. Fair play. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And uh, let's... 
execute again. And now Dorthaloo is ours. So all they have left is the old Viltur. Problem being here is how... Let's sack. Um, pair that. Let's see what we have. That's We want that. We want the leather worker. We'll have the chicken farming. Militia garrison, definitely. Um, I've actually got a lot of stuff that we want. Let's stick in that as well. The Northmen, oof, they did manage to get quite a few men of the East uh, in here. Now, is there any... I'm going to get a Vineyard Bowman in there so that we can, you know, garrison Dorfalu. And then Viltor, we can just take our time. As much time as we want, really, with Dorfalu. Uh, but I think what we're going to do, guys, is leave it there for today. And we are going to take this battle, of course, next time. We've still got to remember... I'm going to stick these guys in now so that I don't forget next time. <laughs> but that should be quite a nice little battle to start the episode off. So thank you very much for watching, guys. A like and subscribe really does help the channel out. So smash those buttons if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again on the next video.